It's a new day and abundance is here and um, my name is Bisola Miriam and on today's episode I'm going to share with you another topic within the 60 day series on childhood trauma and narcissistic abuse and today's very specifically I'm talking to you about um, what I call um, um, church addic religious addiction this is this um you know the 17 in the series and i thought to talk talk about religious addiction because a lot of times we think that addictive behaviors are the very you know terrible things the very things that everyone talk negatively about the very things that everyone castigates but as a matter of fact, good things can become addictive themselves if we're not careful. I mean, serving God is good. Going to church is very much important. But sometimes a religious space can become a space where people, you know, get become addicted to. For instance, there's a difference between when you're going to church or mosque or that religious space for healing, for connection to your divine, to the divine being. And there's a difference between when you're going there because you are trying to run away from healing your pain or processing the things you're going through or actually getting clear with your challenges. So you need to be very careful, very careful in the sense that you must strive to be able to like, you know, create a distinction between when um, how do I put this? You, there must be a, there must be a distinction between when you need to, you know, go to church because you're going to serve God, or you're going to church because your spouse is stressing your life, or your wife is stressing, your husband is stressing you, and church is then the only safe space, and so you stay in church from morning till night. You would be, go for work as maintained. You are the one who would get to church first and the last person to leave. You are the first person to go to the mosque and the last person to leave. Okay. So you, there is need for you to actually evaluate these things. And I'll share with you a very practical example. Many years ago, I mean, when my, my, my ex and I used to have a lot of issues, I remember then that I would, you know what, I would be so stressed, stressed in the sense that I wouldn't want to talk, I wouldn't want to engage, and then I would go to church, I would go very early to church, I would come late, I would not care whether, he, whatever it is he was saying, church was just my safe zone, it was the only thing that got me going, and it became addictive, addictive in the sense that I was not taking care of myself, I was using the church to fill a void. So every time we go through trauma or we suffer from abuse or, you know, whatever form of abuse or violence, it is very important that you separate your pain from the addiction. So you don't get caught up in that web where the addiction is what is keeping you going, whereas you're supposed to actually pay attention to your health, your healing and your, I mean, to self-care. Very important. So... Church can be addictive, religious space or religious activities can be addictive, but you need to be careful. You really need to be careful. And today I have shared with you my thoughts. I hope that all of these ideas make sense to you. And even more, if you're looking to learn more, simply, you know, read up on some what addiction is. And even more, you can leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, to this podcast, and share this information so that many more people can really get clear about many of these things and they can receive their healing themselves. And in addition to everything, I want to ask you to do me a favor. I want to ask you to do me a favor. Will you do me this favor? And the favor is I need your help. I need you to help me to, you know, basically, I want you to support me in launching my book i have a book that i've written and i'm making this book go viral my goal is to sell 10,000 copies this year 
on my birthday. I mean, to donate rather 10,000 copies on my birthday. And I need you to make this a reality for me. And the only way you can help me is to donate so that I can launch my book. Donate so that I can what? Launch my book. If you buy, if you donate a dollar, you make it possible to, for us to print a copy. And if you keep donating, donate $10, 10 copies, $100, 100 copies of the book, $1,000, 1,000 copies, $10,000, 10,000 copies, you know, $100,000, 100,000 copies, a million dollars, a million copies. You know, if you support this work, the goal is to make copies available for free so that several people can read it. And I need you to make this a reality. I need your help. I really need your help. Thank you so much. And if you want to donate or support, simply go to bisolamiriam.com forward slash becoming BM. bisolamiriam.com forward slash becoming BM. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate you. Abundance is here. There is absolutely no lack. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.